Hey kids, hope you're doing well. It's Papa here. I was gonna read you another story and hopefully you're doing pretty good and enjoying life. I wanted to show you I'm wearing my San Luis shirt on, which is fun. And also, I wanted to show you some flowers. I got these for Grandma on uh, Valentine's Day. And they're still going pretty strong. They've been really pretty. I got them because they reminded me of how bright and wonderful grandma is. And so these are bright and wonderful flowers. I uh, hope y'all doing well. Everybody can hear me pretty good. Gemma, Gemma, can you hear me? And Parker, and Lily, and Levi, and gosh, who else do we have? Do we have somebody that lives far away? Like Laura? Or Caleb? Elise? Or Isaac? Mm -mm. And even Janae? Mm -hmm. Do you like my mustache and my eyebrows? Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, let's see. The weather today is almost 70 degrees. A little bit of clouds, but we got four feet of snow almost up at the cabin. And I haven't been able to get up there yet, but I'll be going up pretty soon to open it up and do a lot of projects on it so I love the cabin and I love the snow but we live where it really doesn't snow and there's no snow on the ground but we got some good rain in the valley and some good snow up in the mountains well that's it for the weather forecast are you ready for a story here it is it's about Clifford and it says Clifford at the circus. Look at that. Well, let's see what it says about Clifford at the circus. A circus is sort of a fun thing. They used to have circuses a long time ago. They don't do them too much anymore. But it was before they had the internet and a lot of TV stuff. A circus would come to town and put on wonderful shows. And so people would get excited when the circus was coming to town and they'd want to go and see all the neat shows and all the fun animals that were trained to do some fun stuff. And so the circus used to be a big deal. And every town loved it when a circus would come to town. So let's go ahead and read about Clifford at the circus. Oh, here it starts. Do you see that? It says, I'm Emily Elizabeth. And I have a dog named Clifford. We saw a sign that said the circus was in town. And also a smaller sign that said they needed some help. So they decided to run as fast as they could over to the circus. And they found the guy who was in charge of the circus. And he was telling them there's some problems at the circus. We always wanted to join a circus. We got there as fast as we could. The owner said everything was going wrong. He didn't think that they could put on the show. Oh no, when the circus comes to town, everybody gets excited. They don't want it to not have a show. They want it to have a big show. So there they're talking about it. And look at Clifford, you can sort of just see his nose. And they got big tents where they do some of their shows. I told him Clifford and I would help him. But you know what? He didn't think a little girl and her dog could be much help. But I said, the show must go on. And I think you'd be surprised. We can help you. So they went into the tent to see what was going on. Do you see Clifford going into the tent? Is he pretty big? Oh, look at this. They've got some lions and tigers. And that person there is called a trainer. He tries to teach them tricks, just like you teach a dog to do tricks. The first problem was the lions and tigers. They wouldn't obey the trainer. So when the trainer asked them to do a trick, they just sat there. And look at them. They're just sitting there. 
people aren't going to be too excited to see animals just sit there. They'll be a little bit excited, but when the animals start doing tricks, it gets pretty exciting. Well, Clifford gave them a command to do a trick. Clifford's pretty big. Oh my, look at them now. They started doing handstands and dancing. They listened to Clifford. After that, the animal trainer didn't have to worry anymore. They were obeying the animal trainer now. Look at the people in the background. You see them all excited and they're cheering and their arms are up. They're going, yay! Some clowns had to quit the circus. The other clowns needed help with their act. I was sure Clifford could help. Look at the people in the tent. Do you see them flying through the air on the swing right there? That's how they swing through the air. And there's some clowns. They dress up funny. But what are they doing to Clifford? They're using some paint on him. Have you ever had face paint where they do the little things? Laura and Gemma, I know you, you've done that kind of stuff. Well, guess what? Look at Clifford after he got dressed up as a clown. Oh my. Clifford tried on some costumes. He found one he liked and he joined the act. Clifford enjoyed being a clown. Now look what's happening. Can you see that? They've got some pies. See all the pies over here in a trailer? Uh-oh, they put the trailer right on top of his tail. Do you see that? And do you see they're carrying pies? And they're throwing pies at Clifford. And sometimes people think it's funny if you throw a pie at somebody and it goes in their face. So look at all the people in the background. See them, they're cheering and having fun and watching them throw pies at Clifford. Well, guess what happens next? Clifford wagged his tail. Do you see the tail underneath the pie trailer? Look at all those pies inside that trailer. And that made the act even better. Look what happened to the trailer. Look what happened to all the pies. All the clowns that were throwing pies at Clifford got pies in their own faces and all over them. Look at all the pies hitting them. That was pretty funny. Even Clifford got to eat a couple of pies. But they were throwing pies at Clifford. He threw a whole trailer full of pies at them. And look at all those pies coming down. It's like it's raining pies. Sometimes you hear it's raining cats and dogs. It's raining pies at the circus. The tightrope walker had a sprained ankle. Look at this. Tightrope walking is where you try to do a, a rope real tight and then walk on the rope. But Clifford was so big, when he stepped on it, it went all the way to the ground. And so he was just walking on it when it was on the ground. Look at that. The tightrope walker had sprained his ankle. Clifford tried to walk the tightrope. He was pretty good. It wasn't his fault that he couldn't get off the ground. Sometimes tightrope walkers do it really high up in the air. Sort of like if you see telephone poles, they'd walk on the wires clear up there. It's pretty hard to do. Before the next act, we walked out to where the cotton candy was. Look at that. There's the cotton candy. Oh, there's Emily Elizabeth. She's got, looks like some popcorn. And there's Clifford. And what's he get to see? Cotton candy. Have you ever had cotton candy? It's full of sweetness. Clifford loves cotton candy. He loves it. Well, he sniffed it because it smelled good. Oh, he sniffed a little bit too hard. Where did all the cotton candy go? 
He sucked it like a vacuum cleaner right into his nose. He was, look at his eyes. He's just closing his eyes and smelling real hard. And he sucked so hard, it pulled all the cotton candy. Looks like even a hot dog. All the cotton candy right into his nose. Oh my. Licking the cotton candy off his nose made Clifford mighty thirsty. Have you ever been thirsty? He, he took a drink. Uh-oh, there's a problem. Look at that big thing of water. He's drinking it, but you know what that water's for? Do you see the ladder? The ladder goes way up high. Whoa, way up high. There's a person up there that's gonna dive in the water. They need the water or they'll get hurt. And Clifford drank all the water. They were gonna dive into it from way up high. You can see the guy in charge of the circus. Look at him right there. He's like, no, no, the guy's jumping. Look at, they're all looking way up. And Clifford is just getting a good drink. Uh-oh, this is pretty scary. It was too late. Clifford had spotted the high diver's act, and he'd spoiled it. Look at, there comes the guy. He's falling, he's falling. He's jumped clear down from there. He's falling. And there's no water to jump into. What's going to happen? But he didn't spoil the high, the high jumper. Look at that. He put out his tongue and he caught him. Look at the people cheering. Yay! Well, that's a new act. People jump into a dog's tongue instead of a pool full of water. Look at all the water's not there. And he sticks out his tongue. Whew, that was close, it says. The second half of the circus began with the elephants on parade. The biggest elephant had a cold in his nose, and he couldn't lead the parade. So there's the elephants. Look at all the people watching. See how the elephants are holding on to each other's tail. Uh-oh. What kind of tail is that? It's a red tail. Oh, there's Emily Elizabeth. They dressed Clifford up as an elephant. Can you see his feet? He's not quite an elephant, but he looks a little bit like an elephant. So here comes the parade. Yay! So Clifford slipped into an elephant suit and gave them a hand. I mean a tail. And there's his tail. And they just did the parade anyway. And look at all the people in the uh, stadium cheering and being excited. Well, I think Clifford helped him out. Oh, the next act was the human cannonball. Maybe you haven't seen that, it's pretty interesting. But they take like a cannon and put a person in it, and then they have a way of pushing the person out of the cannon, so instead of a big cannonball, a person goes flying through the air. And they sometimes go pretty far, and then they usually fall into a net. Well, here's the gal that was gonna get shot by the cannon. See the elephants in the background? Uh-oh, but they said there's a problem. They couldn't get the cannon to fire. So the girl was just sitting in the cannon and couldn't get shot out of it so they could do their fun thing. Clifford decided to help. He blew into the cat. Oh, look at that, he blows into the cannon. Look at that. Oh, look at his eyes. He's blowing pretty hard. What do you think's gonna happen? Whoa, where did the where did the girl go? Oh, she got popped out of the whoa, look at her. She's even wearing a helmet. Whoa, Clifford just blew into it and kaboom. She went 
flying through the air. Oh my, look at this. Right through the top of the tent and flew through the air and landed in some hay clear on another farmer's property. I think Clifford blew a little bit hard. He blew her right out of the tent. Look at that. Woo! She just popped right out of there and landed on that hay. Then came the big end of the circus. And Emily Elizabeth got to go up in a balloon with the guy in charge of the circus. So there's Emily Elizabeth. And there's the guy in charge of the circus. And there's all the people. And that big balloon is strong enough to lift them up in the sky. But look at the rope. The rope is holding them to a truck so they can't go too far. Can you see that okay? Well, everybody came out to watch because it's pretty exciting to see somebody go up in a hot air balloon. Uh-oh, I just turned the page. Do you want to see what happened? Gemma, you want to see what happened? Lily, you want to see what happened? And Parker and everybody, you want to see what happened? The rope broke. Do you see the rope? Oh, no. And then Clifford jumped as high as he could. And he's going to see if he can grab that rope. Oh, he couldn't. The balloon had gone too high up in the air. And he jumped really high, but he could not reach the balloon. And now the balloon is just going higher and higher. Have you ever had a balloon with helium in it? And when you let go of it, it just goes up. It'll go up to the ceiling. If you go outside, it'll just keep going up. What's gonna happen to Emily Elizabeth? Oh no, Clifford is sad. I think Clifford's gonna try to help him somehow. How can you help him? They're so far up in the air. Oh, things were not looking good. Ah, oh, Clifford got an idea. You want to know what his idea was? Can you guess what he tried to do? Can you guess? Well, Isaac, Caleb, Elise, Laura, got any guesses of what he might do? Well, here he is. Around the circus, they had some extra poles. He went and grabbed one of the long poles that was laying down, he went over and he pulled on the telephone wires. It looks like he's gonna make like a slingshot and shoot the pole at the balloon. Maybe he's gonna pop the balloon. Look at that, those are telephone wires. And he got a big pole on there. Look at the people, they're wondering, is this gonna work? Oh my, Whew. look how far away the balloon is. Is this going to work? Can you see what he's doing? Should we see what happens or should we stop the story right now? I think we should see what happens. Here it comes. Whoa, I just saw what happened. Look at that. He let go of it and it went flying and it hit the balloon right in the side. Wonder, oh, look at the people. They're all excited. That was a pretty good job by Clifford. Wow, good job, Clifford. That's, that's pretty smart thinking. Well, it went right through the balloon and it put a hole on both sides of the balloon. What happens when you pop a balloon? It falls. And it's going to start falling like crazy. And they're so high up, if they fall, they're going to get hurt. I think Clifford's going to think of that. So there they are up in the air. And the pole went right through it, and they're going to start falling like a rock. 
Oh my, look what happens. Clifford re runs clear over to where they are like a rocket, like pshoom. He ran so fast. Dogs can run pretty fast. He ran really fast. He got over to where the balloon was and he jumped out and he reached out and he caught him. Look at that. Do they look happy? Wow. Good old Clifford. Oh, here's the last page. I'll let you see the picture. Look at that. He got him and he saved him. Can you see that? Oh, look at Emily Elizabeth. She's petting his, his, the front of his mouth. And look at the guy in charge of the circus. He's like, oh my gosh, that was wild. And it says, everybody said it was the most exciting end to a circus there had ever been. Clifford saved the show and Emily and the circus director. Look at that. Well, that's another story about Clifford goes to the circus. He's always a big helper. He loves to help, doesn't he? And he and Emily Elizabeth. Well, I love you. I hope you have fun. Hope you enjoyed the story about Clifford, the big red dog. And remember, I love you so much. <laughs> Bye.